everybody. Uh, so I believe that uh, we have the the best of the best present in the room. Is it so? The most important people advising global politics. Or is it our responsibility to see that the officer that is working at the ground level is getting the best environment to execute this of her work? Are we the most important? Or are those at the forefront executing the work the most important? When you look at this image, what do you see? How the mother can you? Anyone? What do you see? So all these shapes and eyes and letters, what do you all see? This is a masterpiece from our very own Vice President, Mr. Parizoma. Those who have worked, know. We work together. Come up. VP of uh, Strategic Transformation uh, <clears throat> to come up with the vision of uh, Lyceum Global Holdings and I think on this very, very crucial day on our journey we are, we are appointing renowned personality such as Mr. Malik as the second in command of the entire group as in the capacity of Chief Operating Officer. I believe it is my duty to shed some light on what our vision and our purposes. So if you look at all these, these are suggestions of which if you look at it, to ignite boundless creativity and innovation, transforming lives and transforming communities. So I believe all of you know that is our purpose, transforming lives and transforming communities. To unlock the full potential of humanity, nurturing talents and aspirations to shape a brighter future for generations to come. To champion inclusivity and equality, creating pathways to prosperity for every member of our global community, that is, everyone present here and beyond. To democratize knowledge and empower individuals with seamless access to transformative education and resources, or to spread joy, joy and inspiration, enriching the lives of every individual. So as corporate as all those uh, statements sound, uh, I believe that it's very simple and straightforward if you can to spread joy and inspiration and in the lives of every individual and family touch. I think that sounds very simple and understandable to everybody. So we thought we will go with that. But we have not finalized it and I would like all of you to participate. You can directly message all of you have that access and tell me if you think Others. So I'll just give a, a brief overview of the vision as of today and where we are going to head over the next couple of years which we have you know, spoken about time and again but I believe it's good to refresh it on this day with the responsibilities that are going to be bestowed upon Mr. Mani. Where all of us we have to support him to achieve what we are going to achieve for all of ourselves. So just going through the overview if you look at it. Lyceum Global Holdings is more than a business. I believe all of us know. We got final aim to create that orphanage, which we have spoken of time and again, where we all of us are going to collectively work together. And all our profits will be utilized to change the lives of children who are not able to That is what all of us are working towards. So let's see. Lyceum Group the world is, is more than a business, an organization with one purpose and that being a beacon of hope, a catalyst of change and a testament to the power of education that essentially influences the trajectory of transforming lives and transforming communities. Now when we say transforming lives and transforming communities through extensive discussions over the past couple of years, this is to create an ecosystem for all of our team members all of our students in all of our schools, every stakeholder to have the platform to make all their dreams come true. To make all their dreams come true, to work hard, to, uh, to become leaders of companies, to become CEOs, to become CTOs, to achieve those high corporate level salaries, 
to be that platform to do that. Where everybody's vision and voices are heard, to have a non-political organization, where you don't have to, you know, you know what I mean. I believe we have quite limited politics. Of course, we anywhere has politics, but it's quite a very low level. And from the leadership, we will not tolerate that. And I believe Mr. Malik, uh, knowing him for the past year, it is very clear that he's a very straightforward and very task-oriented gentleman. So moving on, transforming lives and transforming communities. Our vision is grounded to three strategies. And the purpose being the body, the mind, the heart, connected individually or collectively. Okay, so you have to understand this, it may take some time. To perform, develop and govern their businesses. That is all of you who are going to master yourselves. Okay, some of you would, maybe some won't. But this is the whole idea, where you master yourselves, your lives, your, how you manage your work, not, uh, not stressing yourselves out, but working hard, joyfully, to, to perform, develop and govern your businesses. So championing this purpose through three core strategies, we have four Gs, which is first, all of you, our leaders should be grounded, harnessing the potential with a positive and progressive growth mindset. Sometimes we see, so you should have your feet on the ground no matter how high you go. You can see how we are. Alright? I think that is uh, not to glorify ourselves, but this is who we are. You know how we are. This is not a problem. All of you also, as you grow, you should not have that ego. Sometimes when you grow from, you know, from your executive, senior executive, executive positions into the GM levels and, you know, VP levels, you tend to forget where you started. So let us be uh, void from this foolishness as we go along. As all of you grow, you must understand, you must be more grounded. Right? A tree grows. How does a tree grow? From the soil above. A tree grows both ways. Alright? It grows downward through the roots, which, is, which requires far more effort than moving in the direction of the sun. So think about it. We are expecting such people, such leaders, in every single When you understand this, you will transmit this, this vision to those after you. And they too will grow like a tree in both ways, as a part of nature, not in this madness that the economical field uh, has put us in. First being grounded, harnessing the potential with a positive, progressive growth mindset. This means you cannot be complacent. Sometimes you reach your salaries, your you know, five-figure, six-figure salaries, and then you are happy. What if I was happy? What if I was happy? We wouldn't have. What if Mr. Guerrero, senior was happy? We wouldn't have such a big organization. Isn't it? All of you are here, enjoying the benefits and, and into the future as well because they were hungry. They had that growth mindset. They built many organizations, many schools. Then we in our time, we have built many organizations. That is the growth mindset. The growth mindset is to create opportunity for others and the ability to truly celebrate the success of others. Driving all efforts to harness greatness and goodness. So all our values should be good. Just because you go up the hierarchy, just because you develop yourself, you should not engage in... Uh, you know what I mean, right? In wrongful behaviors, wrongful actions, misconduct, harassment and things, wrongful things like that, the more you grow. <coughs> We firmly believe that every individual has the potential to make a meaningful contribution to the world and its purpose to make, nurture, support them on their journey. So yeah, so I'll just leave that part there. So what I expect and what I hope is that by 2030 we can reach 
a value of over 500 million USD and then we can touch over within the next three years after, two to three years after, over 1 million USD in credit. That is the, uh, that is the target I would like to give Mr. Malik. And whatever this, uh, whatever uh, magnificent organism that we are going to create for many uh, companies, an organization is an organi organism. <coughs> Again, in the words of Pistoma, right? An organization is organism, which is very true, all right? Uh, because you can see um, all of us, this is not I. I am not Nikita Dreyero. We are Nikita Dreyero. Why? You are I. You are Mr. Nathan Vijay We are a collection of 100 trillion cells working together in coordination, in absolute coordination with the digestive system, respiratory system, all of this functioning in perfection to deliver a fully functioning body, an organism, right? So this is what we are going to be, a very well coordinated, sensitive, defensive, proactive organism, a magnificent organism where everybody is happy, Everybody can, you know, have, can thrive. We are going to be that environment, that conducive environment, where the right people with the right values have the opportunity to grow. So this is the this is the idea. This is what all of us are going to get towards to achieve that perfection, operational excellence. That is why we have bought a person. I have I have done over the past 14 years. I have done what I can, and now it is. Time that we bring on people that know more than us into the organization. There are many people in your own professions who know more than me. I believe most of you here, at least 30% of you, have some competency beyond that of us. And then very certainly Mr. Malik, who is a well matured gentleman in the corporate world. I will not expand much, let him say what he has to say. He knows that is why we have given what him and given the opportunity. But I feel that he knows what to do next better than I do. All right. So I believe that all of you will, uh, all of you have been very supportive of the work that we have done, and you all have done your work with a lot of love towards the organisation. We feel it. None of you have any hatred towards the leadership. We feel that genuineness, trueness, and love. And I hope that all of you would show that same support towards Mr. Mani. We have put a, a huge task ahead for him with huge massive targets. So he will work, he has accepted the challenge and he will work towards achieving this. And uh, all of what we do, all your efforts, is not to satisfy anybody, but it's all for us. Okay, that is all I have to say and it's very clear to all of you. And let us be proud when, when, we, when it comes to the time that all of you in your individual companies can say, I have sponsored 100 children's lives, 200 children's lives. You know, they are living in their orphanage, we have provided them with education, uh, we have given them clothing to the proper food, we have guided them, we have, given, we have trained them. But they will make a significant change in the thousands as they pass out of our free school and our free university. That is what we are working with. So with this thought in mind, I would like to hand over to Mr. Rice. Thank you.